Iowa Catholic Radio presents the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines. Good morning and welcome to St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church as we celebrate the Solemnity of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. All music this morning can be found in worship aids that are available um, at the entrances of the church. Please stand and join in singing our opening hymn, Immaculate Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. On this day, we celebrate the assumption of Mary into heaven, body and soul. Let us, in a moment of silence, acknowledge that we are sinners and ask the merciful Father to pardon us and to forgive us our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You're seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Almighty ever living God, who assumed the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, body and soul into heavenly glory, grant, we pray, that always attentive to the things that are above, 
we may merit to be sharers of her glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within each of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelations. God's temple in heaven was open, and the Ark of his Covenant could be seen in the temple. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon beneath her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was with child and wailed aloud in pain as she labored to give birth. Then another sign appeared in the sky. It was a huge red dragon with seven heads and ten horns, and on its head were seven diadems. Its tail swept away a third of the stars in the sky and hurled them down to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman about to give birth, to devour her child when she gave birth. She gave birth to a son, a male child, destined to rule all the nations with an iron rod. Her child was caught up to God and his throne. The woman herself fled into the desert, where she had a place prepared by God. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come, and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his anointed one. The word of the Lord. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. The queen takes her place at your right hand, in gold of offer. The queen See, turn your ear, forget your people and your father's house. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. So shall the king desire your beauty. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through man, the resurrection of the dead came also through man. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be brought to life, but each one in proper order. Christ the first fruits. Then, at his coming, those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end, when he hands over the kingdom to his God and Father, when he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death, for he subjected everything under his feet. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Mary is taken. 
taken up to heaven. A chorus of angels exalts. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm, and he has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. My dear people of God, There are three things in the Catholic Church when you want me to talk about. If you do not have time, don't invite me. And one of them is Mother Mary, the Holy Eucharist, and the Word of God. These are three things, the Word of God, Mother Mary, and the Holy Eucharist. But today I want to make it very brief so we can go to work. My dear people of God, the teaching of the church on immaculate conception deals with the beginning of the earthly life of Mother Mary. The immaculate conception will deal with the beginning of the earthly life of Mother Mary. What we celebrate today is the assumption of Mother Mary. Assumption comes from the Latin word assumere, A-S-S-U-M-E-R-E, assumere, which means to take up, to take up. This deals with what transpired at the end of her earthly life. And so one has to do with the beginning and the other has to do with the end. What is the difference between the ascension of Jesus and the assumption of Mary? Jesus is God. He is God and man, fully God and fully man. And so he had the power to ascend. He had the power to go to heaven by himself. He didn't need any other power to assist him. And so Jesus ascends into heaven by his own power because he is God. Now, Mary is assumed into heaven. Mary is taken up into heaven by the power of God, body and soul. And so that, my dearly beloved, is the difference between the ascension of Jesus and the assumption of Mary. Now, Mary is taken to heaven because she is without sin. And so her body cannot see corruption because she was preserved from original sin and the sin of life. And that, my dearly beloved, is by the power and grace of God. It is God himself who decided to do it. 
Now, if Mary is blessed, there are three dimensions to the blessing of Mary captured in the prophecy, in the prophetic words of Elizabeth in our gospel reading. Luke chapter 1, verse 42 and verse 45. That captures the three dimensions of the blessedness of Mary. With what happens in chapter 1, verse 20, in the story of Zechariah, when he didn't believe, what did the angel say? The angel said, because you did not believe, you will be done until it is fulfilled. Meanwhile, in that village, there was this little girl who believed everything that the angel spoke to her and declared, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. My dear people of God, as we celebrate the assumption of our mother Mary into heaven, it gives us all hope that where our mother is, someday all of us as good children will find ourselves with her and celebrate the goodness of God. Shall we rise and profess our faith? I believe in one God, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at right under the Father. He will come again in the and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting in the love of God, let us present our petitions before him. For all members of the church, may the Lord continue to bless us and keep us safe from all evil. Let us pray to the Lord. For elected officials, may God inspire them in working to protect life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. For the sick and the dying, may Mary's example of trust in God's holy will offer them hope and courage. Let us pray to the Lord. For those of us, for those of us gathered here, May the grace of this sacrament transform us in the image of Christ's love and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, marked with the sign of faith, may they, like Mary, come to share in the fullness of Christ's glory. Let us pray to the Lord. For all the prayers and intentions we hold in the very depths of our own hearts, let us pray to the Lord. When America stands, the world stands. When America falls, the world falls. That this beautiful country will return to the Father's unconditional love in good works, in obedience to the word of God, and in trust and faith in him. Let us ask our mother Mary, the patroness of this beautiful country, to intercede on our behalf as we pray. Hail Amen. Mary. Full of grace. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thou womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. May the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable to God through Christ our Lord. I bring that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation, our tribute of homage, rise up to you, O Lord, and through the intercession of the most blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, 
May our hearts aflame with the fire of love, constantly long for you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give the thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For today the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven. At the beginning, an image of your church is coming to perfection and a sign of sure hope and comfort to your pilgrim people. Rightly, you will not allow her to see the corruption of the tomb, since from her own body she marvelously brought forth your incarnate Son, the author of all life. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks and broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for thus is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more given thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that it held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of church through Francis, our Pope, and William Johnson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, who blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in each of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Give us to stay our bread and forgive us our for sins, as we forgive those who trespass against us. For he has not been forgiven, but the first time. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sons, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant the peace and it in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Jesus, you are the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, you are the way. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation, we ask you to grant, O Lord, that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, we may be brought to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. You've been listening to the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network.